Over the past 12 years, the TTPS has had no less than five police commissioners. The longest serving had been acting in the position. The Prime Minister believes the current method of appointing commissioners and deputy commissioners of police is equivalent to a merry-go-round. You would have seen Stephen Williams acted for six years. Right? And then when we replaced it with Gibbs and Iwatsky, they lasted a year and a half or two years. Then it is a continuous um, merry-go-round. And that is not good for the police service. On Thursday, the National Advisory Committee on Constitution Reform published its report with a list of recommendations. Among them, that there should be a return to the formal process for the appointment of a police commissioner and deputy commissioners, where the commission makes recommendations to the prime minister, with the prime minister having a veto. Well, certainly it has to be reformed, but I don't know if it will be reformed in the constitution. If it's there, because that's a process that is quite annoying. We used to have a very simple, straightforward process where the service commission would make a recommendation and unless the Prime Minister had a reason to veto it, invariably it went forward as the work of the Commission having not been vetoed. That was felt that there was too much Prime Ministerial interference and somebody got the idea that that was more Prime Ministerial interference than going to the Parliament and having the Parliament make a decision by a majority political party as to who the commission is. The Prime Minister would like to see an equitable, merit-based process. I'm sure we can reform that, put something in place that allows good officers to rise to the top, the good ones, the excellent ones, or you can infuse every so often at certain levels persons who are trained and who would have been prepared for the jobs and the younger police officers could always rely on good management at the top. That's what we're aiming to do. So you support the call for that parliamentary process to be removed entirely well, from... I, I, I wouldn't want to say what I'm supporting at this stage, but we are examining it. Um, this weekend, the PNM, the ruling party, we are meeting in convention to discuss these things. And later in the year, a few weeks from now, the whole nation will be invited to see what the comments were from that consultation that was done. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News.